Hi guys, what's up? This is David from David's PC Channel. I'm here to do the unboxing of the Gamecom 777 headset. It is said to be a 5.1 surround headset with Dolby Digital Standards, but that's not true. It is only a stereo headset, but what it does it is good at. Now, just opening the package, there is two layers, which you just have to pop away from each other, which is tricky sometimes. It just pops open like this. It was harder the first time, but once you get the glue off, it'll be fine. Now inside you will see the headset itself as well as a little USB transmitter that supposedly does 5.1 stereo well 5.1 digital surround sound which is only virtual and not really working. Now for this you will require a power USB. Now taking the headset off like this, there's another plastic panel which pops open and reveals basically simple stuff, the cable which is attached to the headset as well as a safety guide some quick instructions and a thorough user guide which is also just as short as the quick instructions now taking everything away apart from the headset and what we've got left we end up with this tray in here you can see the headset as well as the USB receiver. Now taking that USB receiver out is just pulling here hard. It should pop out right like this. What I really like about this it is it does have a blue LED when it turns on and it will not turn on unless you use a power USB or a USB on your motherboard. There's a little Dolby digital surround sound which is basically fake and it does say Gamecom on the top. What I really like about this is it does pop have your USB pop in in the back just like this so it's neat and tidy and flat for your next journey now looking at the connections it does have a standard USB 2.0 plug and the two inputs which are on this side you have the microphone and on this side you have the um, well stereo headset now also putting this away let's have a closer look at the headset itself it is just pulling this out you can feel it's very very softly cushioned which is really nice and these are not completely um, these ear pads they do let so let's uh, sound get through but that is not necessarily a bad thing because some gamers will just want to hear what's happening around them instead of being completely isolated and everything is soft and it does sort of have a cheap look because it's, it's all out of plastic but that doesn't mean it's not sturdy it's a very sturdy headset and here you can see this little sticker where it says microphone on it when taking the sticker off you will see there's a microphone revealed inside of it which just pops out like this you can also extend it like so so you get a pretty decent microphone and does have noise cancelling capabilities on the outside you can see a second microphone on the inside is the main mic now popping this back in you have to be careful that it's all the way in and nicely bent otherwise it will break off it is this part is probably the cheapest of the whole headset now having a look at the other parts it does come out but there's not really any fixing so it will just blobble wobble around and what I, what the design is nice gray there's different tones of gray and it does say gamecom largely on this side like so as well as it does on the other side now they do have a very tight pull on them, meaning for if you have a very big head, it will not fit comfortably. Now, looking at the cable, it is a very nice cable, and you can see here there is a little clip which you can move around, and it's nice because you can extend where you want your cable to go anywhere. Now, looking at the remote, it has five steps. Um, here you can mute the microphone on this little thing. You can see the red... Um, color it's it's not an LED which will go on if it's muted and then here you can see there's five levels but in it's not like five levels it's just it's a it's a turn thingy it's a turn it's a turn wheel and with five levels uh, printed on it but it's not actually five levels it is going through and you can go you can just turn it it is sort of fiddly since there, it is sort of hard to grab onto but it does work fairly well looking at the cable it is really sturdy and it does have a nice texture and it is pretty long for a headset and at the end you do have your two normal jacks this one here is the um, headset one 
and this one is the microphone one. And this was my unboxing of the Gamecom 777 headset. A review will most likely follow.